Welcome back, class, to Y Caliber. I'm your guide, Matt, and we are playing um, Maid Cafe RPG. Is that what this is? Yes, we switched systems <laughs> midweek. All right, just thought I'd check. So we're all we're all in a Maid Cafe now. Kazuya is playing the double lolly. Double lolly. No. At least it wasn't the Man, sexy Just lyrics. you wait, just you wait for when we go back to Shadowrun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we're joined by our GM, Steven Siddall. Hi, Steve. Hi. We've also got Feral Knights, Jared, and Noda. Uh, but other Matt doesn't seem to be here right now. He uh, has been working too hard. Right now he's phased into a wall up there. <laughs> More like hardly working. Oh, 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 oh. All right, so we've all uh, leveled up since last week, I assume. I think so, yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Uh, I've leveled up. I bought myself a stab vest so that I will get stabbed less. And possibly bulleted less. Maybe. It does say it's a bulletproof and a stab vest. And I used all of my points to level up my vehicle morph power. Excellent. I can make robots now. Oh, you ruined the surprise. You could just like jumped out of the ground when we were at the warehouse. They knew it Pull was a coming. giant icon out. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. It's just going to be like Gypsy Danger, isn't it? No. <laughs> my vote was the Pizza Gundam, I'm just saying. Pizza I've got a much better idea. <laughs> uh, all right. So, double cross. Uh, much like many Japanese RPGs, such as Tenrobancho Zero, not totally not a call out to go look up and buy that. <laughs> um, they do things a little differently when you come to the role playing. Um, they tend to break the actual structure of how you play into more like a movie. So instead of just kind of like this continuous flow of actions, you have what are called scenes, intuitively enough. Um, scenes can be based around any sort of um, thing that you might have in mind, and they're basically just, you just treat them like a movie, basically. You just, there's a thing that happens in that scene, and then changes to a different scene where another thing happens, and you basically just cut out all the stuff from uh, in, the, in, the, in, in the in-between. Now, this is actually important because, as Overids, you guys have a daily struggle with your encroach. Ooh. And it is um, through your Loises, which we have discussed off camera, uh, that you uh, cling to your life, the things that you know give you the impetus to keep, keep living as a human being. And that is how you fight off the uh, transformation into a journey. But it's kind of a constant thing. Even just doing daily things that uh, have in no way relation to using your overt powers, your, the virus is still within you and still doing stuff. So you have to fight it off all the time. Now, each time you enter a scene, you have to roll the d10 and you add that amount to your approach. Okay. Uh, this does mean that you can, of course, abstain from entering a scene. But most of you are probably going to be interested in being in at least most of the scenes. Sometimes you will be forced into a scene. Like, of course, if uh, Yuki Nori wants to go talk to his uh, contact, his rumor-mongering friend, say, he probably needs to be in that scene. So um, he will be forced to do the encroach. But Kazuya doesn't have to come along with him on that scene. Or it does he? It does. Or does he? My rumor mongering friend is actually his boyfriend. What? <laughs> Sorry, girlfriend. <laughs> what? The hair threw me. <laughs> All right. So with that in mind, we're going to do. I'm going to take a note from uh, Tenor Bancho Zero. I'm totally not product placing, by the way. Um, oh no, of course not. It's very subtle. No. Very subtle. <laughs> very. <laughs> I wonder if there's a power set where your hair can throw someone. 
Exile. <laughs> exile. True. I have no I, I think Exile actually has a hair attack power. I, like, literally. It does, yeah. Anyway, um... Tenor Mantra Zero does this thing where they do what's called Zero Acts. And these are basically like the, um... Introduction for each character. Uh, if you watch Avengers, they're like the, the where each one gets their own individual scene, showing how they show up and get together to get the team together. Um, they won't take quite as long as that, but um, uh, that's how I'm going to. Uh, that's how I choose to bring the team together this time. So I have them planned out already. Uh, fortunately, Fumi Heroes was actually the last, and uh, perhaps presciently enough. I wrote it in such a way where he can be included later, so that's fine. High five. High five. That's, that's just, just how little you value his presence. Aww. <laughs> now he's going to listen to this next week and just be sad. Aww. <laughs> Did you think that was sad? If so, say so in the comments below. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, but the first up, first scene... Is going to be uh, Yuki Nori, actually. Yeah, that's me. It is. That means you're the main character. Well, we're all <laughs> the main character. He's the main character of this scene. And should I roll my 1d10 then? Yeah. Go ahead. That's Fairly high sense. increase. My encroach all the way up to 40. Not quite high enough to start getting bonuses less. That's okay. All right. Yukinori, you are currently driving through uh, Akihabara in uh, Tokyo. And while you are not actually the driver this one time, um, you are in a car with uh, Satsuki Kam uh, Kamashiro, who is, of course, one of your bosses. Satsuki, uh, for the audience at home, is an 18-year-old girl who is way smarter than Yukinori is. Of course, she is over it, who is part of the Neumann uh, syndrome. I'm just going to have to pronounce it like that all the time. That's Neumann. the correct pronunciation. <laughs> Neumann. 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 <laughs> um, she's uh, actually, I believe, I'm not going to look at the book, but she's Neumann Orcus. And uh, she's basically, even though she's 18 years old, she's way smarter than most people, and she is the head of this uh, conglomerate group, the Kamashiro group. And the Kamashiros are basically kind of uh, attached to the UGN, which is the United Guardian Network. And they do a lot of um, independent research on overits. At the moment, Satsuki's kind of in dire straits, but I will let Yuki Nori explain this. What is your relationship with Satsuki? So Satsuki, as mentioned, is in dire straits because at the moment there are factions within her company that are developing an anti overage uh, attitude. So they're wanting to either exploit or find ways to get rid of overids. And in order to avoid losing control of the situation and in order to avoid having all the knowledge that this company has turned against them, the UGN has deployed uh, quote unquote police detective Ishizuka Yukinori to consult with Satsuki and sort of act as a liaison between the UGN and her. His excuse for being a police officer there is that uh, there appear to be shady dealings going on in the company, and that's being investigated by the police. Right. So basically he's kind of um, in the car with her at the moment to be an escort detail, right? That's the plan. Cool. Okay, so uh, to, to, to Satsuki's um, credit, the, she actually is not driving, uh, well, they're not in the limousine, they're actually more in a uh, more of an expansive, uh, you know, one of those Lincoln Town cars that are like, just like the huge-ass cars. It's like a limousine that, uh, you know, she didn't really want to go, go driving around in a limousine, so she just bought something that looked like a limousine. It's probably for the best. Trying to fit a limo in Akihabara would be a nightmare. nightmare. I know, right? <laughs> All right, so uh, at the moment, you're basically driving to the Kamashiro Group's uh, Akihabara branch, uh, headquarters, the offices, and uh, you're moving into the underground uh, garage, and basically, well, it doesn't take too long before the the ground starts shaking. 
Earthquake. <laughs> is, is this supposed to happen? Is this a car elevator? No. no. You basically pull into like a, you know, like a normal parking garage, except for it's for executives. And then as you're getting out of the car, well, small debris starts falling from the ceiling. It's not anything huge or anything like that. Um, and just the whole concrete c construct of the uh, parking garage just shakes. You're not sure what the hell it is. What the hell is that? <laughs> Every time he's around an 18-year-old girl, the earth starts moving. <laughs> no, no. Come on. Oh. Uh, so Yukinori obviously is going to move over to try and cover Satsuki, just in case things are falling on them. Wait, are we still in the car? Yeah, you've gotten out on it. All right, so if we've gotten out, I'm going to try and... You know, just be on guard in case things start falling on them. Right now, he's kind of worried. You think someone's coming? What does your giant brain tell you? <laughs> <laughs> tell me your secrets, Neumann. <laughs> well, Satsuki seems a little concerned, but uh, of course, uh, neither of you, or neither you nor your driver, know what's going on. But uh, of course, Satsuki's quick to order the driver to radio up to see what's going on. Is there anything that Yukinori can perceive about this situation? Why don't you go ahead and roll me perception? I will try. I think that's it. Nice roll. Not too bad. Well, of course, Overids are superhuman in a lot of ways, not just because, you know, you can control weird alchemic sand that can make robots, um, but also in that they're just generally superhuman. You don't need to wait for the driver's report to know that you hear gunfire up, uh, up above you. Gunfire. Those are some <laughs> pretty big guns. Oh, yes. That's bad news. bad news. Well, also, his hearing's really good. Because super emo. Yeah, so we got the option either move further down or try and get out. Is there an alternate exit? Well, it's pretty clear that you can just kind of walk back out to the entrance, or well, drive out actually through the uh, underground parking lot. But as soon as you try to get Satsuki to move anywhere, because of course her driver also reports that um, there are certain gunfire going on upstairs. She hears this and immediately starts heading for the elevator. Damn it. Satsuki, what do you think you're doing? Well, I'm saving my company, of course. You think you're going to save your company by getting yourself shot? This seems to be a good point. However, she's also, well, you know, 18. Even if she's really smart, she's not very... Uh, emotionally, emotionally mature, mature, mature. <laughs> right? So she's in the elevator, and well, she's hitting the buttons, but nothing seems to be working. Apparently, whoever's up there decided to cut the elevator power, or maybe it's just an emergency uh, maneuver for the right, officer. Right. So it gives you her a moment to think, and of course, when she thinks, she thinks a lot. That's good news. It's true. So she turns to you and she starts saying, "Well, they're not attacking the garage." So it's a fair bet that they're not trying to lock down the place. They just want something in this, uh, in the building. Don't you think? Makes sense. What do you think they might be after? I don't know. But I want to find out. So she starts leaving the elevator and, well, heading for the stairs. <laughs> you can already... Can't you just, like gets ahead of her and goes to check the door to the stairway just to make sure there aren't gun-wielding maniacs right on the other side of it. Use your alchemical sand to make one of those little stair lifts that they advertise on TV. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> make, make an alchemical segue. <laughs> <laughs> he could. He has the vehicle more power. Yeah, There's can... your damn Dodge Scoot. I can make literally <laughs> any vehicle I want now. Um, I've also got a wall bypass. But first, I just want to see, like, is... Can we hear anyone on the other side, like, in the stairwell, or is it clear? 
It's clear. Uh, no matter what method you use to ascertain it, it there's no one that is uh, running down those stairs. Uh, you can hear now with the doors open that a lot of people are in the stairwell, and, well, they're mostly screaming and running. There doesn't seem to be a lot of gunfire focused in the stairwell, though. All right. And people, the screaming, are they running, like, down towards, towards us? us? Yeah, down. Towards us. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe not towards the, the garage, but at least towards the... Um, lower floors where they can access, like, you know, the front doors and leave. Okay. That's good. I think this might not be the best route for us. Do you have a back way, alternate elevator, anything else? Uh, hold on a sec. Suddenly the world froze. Uh-oh. Yukinori had to hit the uh, side of the monitor a couple times for it to unfreeze. <laughs> Technical right. difficulty sign comes up. <laughs> <laughs> well, Satsuki team is determined to just charge on. There's no other way up, up, she says. We have to go through here. We're going to go find these guys that are shooting up our office. Are you going to come with me? <sighs> Fine. Stay behind me. <laughs> All right, so you're going to actually charge in and help her. I got no choice. Too much of a sense of duty. Okay. So we're going to head up into the stairwell, and obviously Yukinori is going to go first. And uh, as he's going, he's going to uh, summon a gun into his hands. Which I believe gives me three in crouch. You don't need to worry about that for this scene. There's the zero acts you typically don't have any combat in. All right. Well, he does that. And if there is, it's just kind of hand wave. He just does it for the action movie feel. Pretty much. So, uh, you have to rush past a lot of people that are rushing downstairs, and none of them stop at all to answer the Sassy's questions because, well, a lot of them hate her. But at the same time, <laughs> uh, they're panicked. Damn. <laughs> As you get up high, just right, right out on the line. <laughs> they just don't fucking like her. No, they don't. Not fans. So, notably, you are the only two people trying to go up against the tide of humanity that's going down the steps. But um, eventually it does start to clear out. That's also where you start seeing blood on the walls. <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds good. Indeed. Is it Satsuki? Can you wait on this landing? While I go and check ahead, just for a few minutes. Being 18 and over it and impulsive, she of course does not. Where's a friggin' You have a heck of a Lois, man. I know. <laughs> Suddenly it turns to a Titus. <laughs> so we're, uh, we're heading up. There's blood in the stairwell. Sassy's yes. refusing to stop. And, all right, um, can I hear anything or see anything, smell anything out of the ordinary? Of the ordinary. Uh, toss me another perception check. Damn. I'm rolling good today. <laughs> just for now, once we get into combat. These are, yeah, these it. are just perception does. <laughs> I got perception, you know. This can is reaching through time. <laughs> so it is said, this police officer is quite good at perceiving. <laughs> All right, well, you managed to find this uh, flight, or rather the, what is it, story, that's the word I'm looking for, to, um, where all the shooting's coming from. It's actually the, not the offices that they're uh, attacking, but rather the server rooms. Hmm. So they're looking for some files. Indeed. Satsuki well, really hate nerds. <laughs> <laughs> there are a couple texts that are unfortunately lying dead on the ground. I'm gonna have to just move past them. So are they we're going into the server room? There are people in there? There's actually quite a few servers, as you can imagine, uh, of a you know, group like the Kamashiro group. Uh there's like walls and like rooms filled with just nothing but servers. And, uh, well, uh, basically, as you make your way through them, I assume cautiously. No, I'm just going to run. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I'm going cautiously. 
Sasuke kind of needs to be reined in because when she sees those dead people, she starts freaking out a little bit. Even though she's really smart, of course, again, not very emotionally mature. So she's got to be grabbed and kind of like hauled back a little bit. Uh, she's not letting you lead anymore unless you like force it. Well, as respectfully as possible and appropriately as possible, Yukinori is going to like grab her by the arm and like, shut up. Let's go quietly. You can't help these people by getting killed. Yay, barking dogs. Woof. Woof, woof, woof. Suddenly there's dogs on the level. (laughs) Zombie dogs. Zombie dogs. No. Or in this setting, germ dogs. Messed up. A little bit. Alright, but when you like grab her and uh, try to, uh, you know, shake some sense back into her. She, like, shakes her head and she says, they must be after the Overt Files. There's no other reason that they'd ha- be on this floor. Hmm. All the research that they have on the Overt's is on this floor. Do you have off-site backups? Well, of course. Can we just destroy these servers? I suppose we could. Well, that'd stop them getting the files, wouldn't it? It would. Or at least it's pretty, yeah, it seems like it's a good choice. All right. Let's start destroying the servers then. How are you going to go about that? Are you just going to start shooting them? That would be pretty loud. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly. <laughs> Let me think. Almighty Instrument. Can I use Almighty Instrument to make an electromagnet? It does say tools or even small houses if you had a need to generate a small house inside this office building. All right, well, I'd like to try and generate an electromagnet so that we can start erasing the servers more quietly that way. Okay. Um, Throw me an RC check. Just make an electromagnetic pulse. He's not a black dog. (laughs) That's when he found out they're all using SSDs. (laughs) (laughs) all right through your abilities your uh create some of your alchemic sand and it just kind of swirls in from wherever it might swirl in from but we'll just leave that undefined at the moment perhaps forever you know you can convert other matter as well that's true um it's all the dust bunnies inside the servers. <laughs> <laughs> it's really great at just like uh, de dusting all the servers. And you have to take a can of air to that. Thank God they never clean this shit. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you managed to make a kind of small portable uh, electromagnetic that you can use to uh, wipe the servers. Going around and doing that, however, I mean, there's a lot of servers. Yeah. yeah. Maybe Sasuke knows if there's like a central power shut off or something. We can overload them, maybe. She can use her brain for something useful. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Well, she's panicked. Uh, you know, you got to give her a task to focus herself, you know? That's true. That's true. Can you figure out a way to overload these servers? I can't erase them all by hand. That's true. Um, she can, in fact. She knows exactly where to go, too. Um, it's on the floor lower though which is away from the guys with guns so that's apparently good i am all for this plan okay so you directed that and she like basically like goes running off like an idiot but at least it's in the opposite direction from the uh men with guns who you assume are on this floor the gunfire stopped by the way ominous a little bit is it quiet um yes actually it is is it too quiet. Not in that sense. Why don't you go ahead and just throw me another perception check? <laughs> we'll see what you hear. Oh, that's not okay. as good. Not as good, but you don't really need to roll that high. He hears the heavy breathing of, of a surviving server attack. <laughs> his My Little Pony shirt straining over his hefty bulk. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to lose all of our brony viewers. <laughs> They were angry enough last time we brought it up. 
Oh. <laughs> Unix is still better than Windows. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is the future. They use Steam OS. Oh, that's true. Oh my, another drop. Oh, wow. Another topical drop. Yes. <laughs> All right. Ah, sorry, I had a bulldog suddenly rush my arm. <laughs> oh, no, I'm arm. All right, there, Pipple. So, what am I perceiving here? Mm -hmm. One sorry. I'm perceiving that it's not too quiet. It's just quiet. Oh god, he's got an action movie voice now. <laughs> he just, he strips off, he takes off his tie and shirt, so he's just in a white, white undershirt. <laughs> Why are you taking off your shoes? I can feel more in touch with the earth. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, sorry about that. What you hear, after... Tense, tense, uh, waiting for my answer. There are voices just down the hallway from where you are. Basically, they sound kind of muffled, though, like they're talking through masks. Hmm. Does it sound like a lot of voices? Um, yeah, at least more than five. Shoot. Okay, uh, let me think here. Do we know how long it might take Satsuki to get these servers overloaded? She didn't give you an estimate. She just ran off. Not. Yeah, of course. Uh, but, uh, need to do something. So, like, they're nearby. Yes, but, like, you know, just up the hallway a bit. Okay. I'll even give you a freebie and say that you, like, toss a look out the hallway, and they're not in the hallway, so they're apparently one of the uh, server rooms. Okay. So if they're in the server room, that means they're probably already downloading shit. And we don't want that to happen. So, uh, Yukinori is going to try to, as quietly as possible, move down the hallway, hugging the wall, to try and find the door to the room they're in. See if he can, like, listen out and find when he gets to the right room. Okay. Um, once he gets to that room, I'm going to sort of turn around and hug the wall with my belly and use uh, wall bypass to sort of peek through the wall and see if, like, I can see where they are in the room. Okay. That won't require an RC check. Okay. But the moment you do, you see a dude in full tactical assault gear in a full face mask that actually looks like a anti-warding mask that you've seen uh, some troopers wear, which is, Bad news. Bad news. yeah, they're carrying heavy armor, heavy weaponry. They're some serious dudes. Is there anyone like sitting there with a laptop jacked into a server or something? Or something? Yes. That's the dude who you see actually. He's like, uh, got like this kind of tiny, actually it's a tablet nowadays, of course. So oh, <laughs> yeah, of course. Okay. Um, well, I don't want them to get this information, so I'm going to cycle up the uh, electromagnet and just sort of, as casually as possible, lob it into the room. Try and get it as close to that tablet as possible. Okay. Um, I believe technically, like, this stealth sort of check to get it in there without them noticing you and shooting you full of holes. I think it's an opposed perception check. All right. I'm going to lose. So one more perception check. <laughs> this is the one that actually matters. <laughs> no, that's really good. That's all right. Okay. I need like a handful of D10s here. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I had to just whisper myself, D10 rolls of the sad. See, if you do that, you have to also uh, have the mic on when you roll them. Yeah, so you can hear them at the table. A... Yeah. Spook everybody. Tick, 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 tick. What are you rolling for? You can already right. dies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the um, the you toss it in with the wall bypass. The electromagnet goes off, and of course, just before it does go off, the guy sees it, but he's not fast enough to grab it. So there's a lot of cussing. <laughs> so there's a lot of cussing as well. The tablet fries, and of course, all the servers in the room do too. Um, but of course, now you have five dudes who know exactly where you are. Bad news. Yes, so they... For them. Oh, my. <laughs> so immediately the guy, like, uh, jacks out with the tablet, and I'm using Shadowrun terminology now. Um, <laughs> they all pick up their guns, and they start rushing out of the uh, room, because, of course, if they only if they have anti-warding masks, they're not over it themselves. Okay. While they're doing While they're that... Doing... Uh, You're I, just going to run? I'm going to sink right through the floor to the floor below. Nice. Okay. In this case, I'm going to end the scene right there because that's your escape, and they're more interested in uh, getting out now than they are in hunting you down. Yeah, and my main priority is finding Satsuki. Right. So the outcome of that will be told finding after we complete the... <laughs> <laughs> But I'm right here. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, yeah. Audience is totally lost now. <laughs> All right, so we'll end the scene there. Good job. Thanks. Yay!